the world is opening back up, at least here in Ohio, and I want to get back out there and do some bluegrass jamming. But I'm a little bit rusty, and bluegrass isn't my complete strong point. In this video, I learned two new G licks, and I'm going to show you how to play them too. Hi, I'm Kevin from Relax and Learn Guitar, where I help music lovers over 40 become the guitar players they've always wanted to be. In this lesson, I'm going to work through some G licks on the guitar. So, I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready to be outside with people. <laughs> so here in Ohio, things have opened up back up um, since the pandemic, pretty much. And a uh, local music store said so they're going to start their bluegrass jams again. Uh, I've got a family reunion coming up. I got some relatives who can really burn up the fretboard. So I want to definitely get a little better. And so in this lesson, I'm going to learn a couple of G licks and show them to you as well as we work through them. So if you listen to any bluegrass music, there's a G lick that kind of ends, mostly it kind of ends tunes, but you can also work it in between. Like you've heard that a million times if you listen to any bluegrass. But I want to freshen that up a little bit, and I was watching some, uh, or listening to some music. And this is all built around a G chord the name G licks and I want to I want to add in this note here on the fifth string first fret oops so I think that sounds pretty good and of course if you listen to bluegrass there's these folks can just really go quick takes me a little bit while to get there and I want to make sure I sound good <laughs> and don't embarrass myself so uh, slow that down I feel a little more comfortable when it's slow so I use my uh, middle finger here because that's kind of the if you're making a G shape so it starts here on the sixth string third fret so that uh, after that sixth string third fret we're going to go immediately to the 5th string 1st fret and hammer down from the 1st fret to the 2nd fret with our index finger here on the 1st fret. Hammer down with your middle finger onto the 2nd fret. Then an open 4th string. Then the 4th string 2nd fret. End with an open 3rd string. So see how that... Oh, there's another one in there, so... So open 4th string, hammer down onto the 2nd fret with your middle finger on that 4th string, open 4th string, open 3rd string. I like that one. I think that'll fit in pretty well. Uh, let's see. Not really a lick, but um, I do feel more comfortable with this one. I want to show this to you because if you're playing out... Um, it's a good one to have because you can really alternate C and G chord just by moving one finger. Well, a C chord and then a G bass. So here's your C shape. You've got your index finger here on the second string, or the second string first fret. You've got your middle finger here on the fourth string second fret. And your ring finger here is on the fifth string third fret. So kind of a fifth string down up. You're going to move your ring finger back and forth from this fifth string third fret to the sixth string third fret. Start out slow, just like I do. Work your speed up. So it's kind of lick number three. It's really more of a rhythm. And then finally, I want to work in something that starts here on the high end. With these high notes and then kind of resolve it to a G. Let's see. I like that. see. 
There we go. So I'm starting here on the first fret of the first string, hammering down to the third fret of that first string with my ring finger. Back to the first string, and then we're going to do a little hammer on with the uh, second string second fret. You got your middle finger there, and you're going to hammer down onto the third fret of that second string. So you have back to the first string first fret, like that, and then you have the second string third fret. So all together it's Pull off there. Let's see. Yeah, like that. So start here on the, so we've done some hammer-ons, and that's when you start and then you hammer down with your finger. So we're going to do a little pull off here on the second string, second fret with your middle finger. Going to pull off and then let that second string first fret play with your index finger ring out. Third string, third fret. Third string open. Fourth string, third fret. And then finish on that open third string. So you have. And I like those. They need a little bit of practice, but I'll keep working on that. So I feel like I'm a little more ready to go. And uh, I kind of work myself up sometimes. My wise wife, Vicki, has said, people are just going to be really happy <laughs> to get outside again and to be in public and to play in a group because it's a lot about what guitar is. And uh, they're probably going to just be happy to hear music live and the feelings that that gives them because um, people really get a lot of joy out of playing music live and hearing music live. So I'm going to try and concentrate on that and not so much like trying to be perfect and get this exactly right. But I feel like I got some good stuff here. Hope you guys liked it too. If you want some more bluegrass looks, check out the playlist above and I will see you guys the next lesson.